Plunderstorm is a new limited time PvP event that came out last week and it has been getting a lot of people talking about it. Some of it good and some of it bad. Now, I am not very good at PvP. And although I do play a battleground every now and then, PvP isn't something that I've ever been successful at. And at times, it's actually frustrated me to the point where I'm just turning off the computer because it's just too much. But I've decided to give this a try, and I've played a few hours of this limited time event with the goal of answering the question, is Plunderstorm any good? Is it worth your time and energy? So in this video, I wanted to go over the five things that I think are good about Plunderstorm and the five that are bad. Before we get into all the things that are wrong with it, let's go over the good things first. First off is the game mode. Blizzard hasn't done a Battle Royale style game before, and this is really exciting because it shows their willingness to experiment and try new things. This isn't just another limited time event. Kill these mobs that spawn over here, collect tokens, and turn them in for rewards. This is a new and fresh way to PvP that hasn't been done in WoW before. The last battleground we got was in Battle for Azeroth, and it was Ashran. And before that, it was Seething Shore and Legion. So it's been a while since they took a focus on PvP, and I think that that's a great thing. It's something completely different, and it's not like your typical battleground, which are Horde versus Alliance. This is all about the last survivor, and I think it's something that was needed. Second is the gameplay. The gameplay is actually fun. It's not only super simple, but it mixes PvE and PvP in a way that hasn't been done before. It's not like Altric Valley or the Season of Discovery Ashenvel event where it was PvP with PvE objectives. Here, you have a good mix of both that blends pretty seamlessly together. The third thing is the abilities. The abilities that you get are totally new. They're not things that are in Classic or Retail WoW. They just didn't rehash old abilities or add in what's currently in the game. They took the time to think about new and crazy abilities. Take, for example, the Barrel Roll. A move that allows you to quickly get away from uh, from other players, but also delivers a blow if you hit them with it. Or your self-heal, which I think is supposed to be a barrel of rum. I mean, it's not just a health pot, right? You're guzzling an entire barrel. The fire swirl ability that creates this vortex of flame as you move around. I mean, in one battle, I literally smacked a mob with a fish. I hid in a bush once. I mean, the list goes on. It's, it's these abilities that make the game feel fresh, and to be honest, it makes the game a lot more fun. It's classless. This right here is one reason I think the gameplay is so fun. Each match is different based upon the abilities that you get. Sometimes you get some really crappy ones, sometimes you get some really awesome ones, and sometimes you get a mix of both. How are you going to use these abilities to win? It's not about Hey, I know my class inside and out, and this is how I always do an opener, and this is the button I hit when I'm CC'd. It's more of, okay, I got these abilities. How do they play together? How can I use these to win? And if you don't like these abilities, well, if you find another one that you like, you can swap them out, which is really powerful as the battle progresses. Right? The, the strategy that works in one match may not be the best strategy in the next. So there's no right way to win, which I think adds to the fun, right? Like depending upon the abilities that I get, I may feel more likely to engage in battle with another player, but there's been matches where, you know, RNG just wasn't on my side and I had no abilities for a long time. I had to change my strategy up. And, and this adds to the replayability of this entire event something that you don't see in other PvP battlegrounds. Another thing that I think is a huge win is they don't let you use add-ons. This is way different than anything that they've done before. With the game mode and the way that they've designed the UI, you actually don't need add-ons. How many people are left? How long until the storm shrinks? It's right there. 
I think if there was an add-on, it would be to do things like highlight the best abilities. And then that's all players would care about. Everybody's trying to be the same. And if they didn't get the, the ability and they lost a match, well, it's not because of skill or strategy. It's because they didn't get the right abilities. And so I think having no add-ons actually puts a focus on allowing the developers to make it easy to engage in making the actions simple right you have a limited amount of actions that you can do it's not complex there's no rotation and so not having add-ons really keeps it focused on what it's really about and the last good thing i love is that blizzard is experimenting now, i said this earlier but this is so important for the future of not only wow but blizzard itself we see that they are doing this with season of discovery and I'm excited to see the same thought process going into retail. Even if this is a limited time event, I, I'm glad to see them making these bold moves because that's going to make retail that much better in the future. You know, when you experiment and put something brand new out, you get a lot of feedback and you get it fast when it's a limited time event. And with the feedback that they're going to be getting with this, they're going to be experimenting more refining things, which I think is going to improve the overall game. Now that we've talked about the good things, let's talk about the bad. And I'm going to be honest here. It's not that things are bad, but it's more observations and things I don't really understand. I think some of these things that they may have missed the mark on. First, before we get into that, I want to talk about some of the comments in the community as far as this isn't what we asked for. I know that probably the entire community was excited for pirates. And when it came out that this was a PVP event, a lot of people were disappointed. I've seen this, this is not what we asked for statement thrown around a lot, but I don't agree with that. I myself wasn't asking for anything specific. And this PVP event was the last thing I thought that they were going to give us. But I don't think it's a bad thing just because it's not what I was looking for. There's a lot of different types of people playing the game. Casual PvE, hardcore PvE, like, like ahead of the curve, PvP, role-playing. Each of these groups have different wants and desires, and not everyone's going to be happy. In fact, I can almost guarantee that even if they gave us a limited-time PvE pirate event, people would still complain and say, this is not what we asked for. You know, to be honest with you, not every part of the game is going to be what you like or want. Blizzard has desires and a vision, and we have to be okay when that doesn't align with ours. I think the bigger issue is that this is a limited time event, which has 40 levels of renown to get through to get all of the rewards. I don't remember any other limited time event having such a grind. Now, I know the grind isn't needed, but man, if you want those rewards, you have to put in the grind. And I think this feeling of scarcity is causing people to grind in such a way that they're getting burnt out way too fast and disliking something that they may have originally enjoyed. I think that if this wasn't a limited time event, then the grind to level 40 renown wouldn't seem so bad. But how long is this event even going to last? I have no idea. And that brings a lot of uncertainty, which causes people to burn out fast. The next thing is why is this tied to the retail client? Not everyone plays retail. So now you're asking for the classic only players or even players that are new to WoW to download the retail client and all 90 gigs of assets to play a game mode that uses a fraction of that, I think not only is that a big ask, but it's a big risk. Maybe it was just easier from a technical standpoint to stick it in the retail client than having it as its own standalone game. Maybe it's a marketing scheme to get people to get back into retail. I'm not sure. But it being a limited time event, it does make sense that they are only targeting existing WoW players. Maybe this will change in the future. I guess it really depends upon the feedback that they're going to get. So it'll be interesting to see where this goes. The next thing is the lobby. 
Now, I didn't understand at first that you can use the lobby to try out things. I'm not a big Battle Royale fan, so I don't know if this is something similar to how other Battle Royales work. But there are chests littered around the area that have all these cool abilities, and there's mobs that you can practice against. The bad thing, I think, is that you can be in the lobby for 4 minutes or 30 seconds. And there's no real way to say, hey, I just want to hang out here for a bit, get a feel for some of this stuff, try, try this new ability, see how it kind of works. And maybe this isn't such a big deal the more you play, but if they add new things, it, this would be something good to have. The next thing that I don't understand is the theme and where the battle's taking place. So we're a bunch of pirates that drop down into Arathi Highlands. I understand that there isn't any lore here, but it just seems weird to use Arathi Highlands. Why not islands like in the island expeditions? It's not a technical limitation because they already have this from Battle for Azeroth. They could even use the new Starter Zone Island. It just seems Arathi Highland and pirates don't really match. I'll talk about this more in a minute, but it would have been cool to have more than one map, especially since this is an old world zone. And having one map that everybody is pretty used to means that they know where all the mobs are and all the good places to farm XP. Now, this could bring in a point of contention as more people try and land in the same spot, but it would be cool to see mobs get randomized to prevent something like this. Again, I think it would be less of an issue if we had multiple maps. With the bad out of the way, what do you think is next for Blizzard and WoW? I see a lot of things that can come from this, and to be honest with you, the sky's the limit. But I want to know what you think, so let me know in the comments below. I can see this game mode actually getting incorporated into retail somehow. Or even better, it's it becomes its own game client like Hearthstone or Heroes of the Storm. Rest in peace. I can see things like different maps, maybe on a rotation. Each map has a different type of themed reward, like if they storm the beaches of Northrend, maybe there's a Scourge type of reward. Or if the zone is Westfall, have Defiler themed rewards. We can even see other game modes coming out of this. We've already seen them try things like Torghast, but there are things like Tower Defense, or even a hot style mode that's not Heroes of the Storm but better. If you want to see more things Plunderstorm, check out this video right here.